attention. Please be advised we have arrived at Coruscant and will be touching down at our destination shortly. Waiting inside. Top. Uh, mission. No. no, you drugged me. Uh, she. There, there. So don't strain. Sir. Guards, let him down, please. Now, trooper, what brings you before me? The chips, Chancellor. Chips? These were removed from both clone troopers. Clone Trooper 5s claims they are the cause of the problem. Those are inhibitor chips, which are placed in clones to make them less aggressive and more compliant to orders. I tried to explain to this clone that they are placed in them for his own good, but he removed his chip nonetheless. Our own good? This thing they put in us malfunctioned in Clone Trooper Tub. I removed his and analyzed it. There were signs of rapid decay. And we're positive this has nothing to do with the virus? No. We still do not know for sure what caused Trooper Tup to kill. We only know that his chip failed. And now, this clone has removed his own chip, which makes him a risk to himself and others. I'm not at risk. Sir, they're covering something up. I know it. If it's not them, then it's a Separatist plot. They used this chip against us to make us more violent than less. That's why Tup killed General Tipler. A separatist plot from before the war even started? That seems unlikely, don't you agree, Master Shakti? It does, Chancellor. It seems very unlikely. It is absolutely impossible. What we have here is a single malfunction to one clone's inhibitor chip caused by a virus, separatist plot or not. Perhaps it would be best if Clone Trooper Fives and I discussed this without your presence. Chancellor, I must object. Please, Master Jedi. Trust me. I will not be alone. I have my security here. I want this soldier to feel he is having a fair say in this matter. I trust you will keep these safe. Of course, Chancellor. 